Hi, I'm Ken Peterson. We're here at our house on Tilbury Place in Bloomfield Hills today in the Rough Inn. And we're going to take a look and see uh, some of the last minute finishing up of the electrical work today. Over here we have Frank Michael Isaac uh, from J. Simon Electric just finishing up some of the electrical. Frank, what are you doing over here today? I'm installing nail plates on the wall. Anywhere we don't have an inch and a quarter of wood, from the edge of the wood to the start of the wire, we have to put a nail plate on so the drywall washer put the screws in, it doesn't hit the wire and damage So that the protects it from, uh, from the screws going through and uh, nicking the wire or so? Yes. Okay, what else? I'm just checking the fire cock so that way everything's sealed up in the house and all can go from floor to wall. So that's like down in this area, any little hole is covered up with this red caulk. How come it's red caulk instead of uh, white or something like that? Is there a difference? Just, just the chemicals that they put in it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Very good. So I see there's different plugs scattered around the different rooms at different spots. How do you determine which plug goes where? Um, six foot from any start of the, of the room from a doorway. We have to go six foot and then 12 foot between because every appliance now comes with, with at least a six foot cord. So anywhere on the wall, there's you're not more than six foot away from a plug. Oh, so that way you don't really have to run extension cords anywhere. Yes, that's correct. Good idea. How about in a kitchen? Are the kitchens are kitchen is, that? is two foot from the edge of the countertop or a sink, and then four foot between for the same reason that you won't have more than two foot between each appliance. Gotcha. Okay. So there's really quite a science to where these go. They just don't go in haphazardly. Yes, there is. Okay. And a lot of times you review this with the homeowner before we go ahead and place these plugs? I yes, think. we do. We walk with the homeowner so we know where they want their plugs and we can make it work out the code or add one specifically where they want it. Great, great, great. All right, I won't hold you up anymore. Thanks a lot. Doing a good job here. It looks like we're almost through. Thanks, man. So, uh, all right, carry on. Every Thanks, day. Frank. Yep. Bye. Okay, that's it from the site for today. We'll check in uh, more tomorrow then. Thanks.